This video is part one of installing a Bally Alpha 2.1 computer with RAM clear into a Bally Alpha Pro Wave. This is the connections part. This is a Bally Alpha 2 2.1 hardware. Model 226458K2000 video card. If you know nothing about these, I'll describe things just a little bit. Compact flash card holes, USB ports, a casino Ethernet port, generally unused, iDeck plug. Topper plug for some games, primary touch screen, secondary touch screen. Looking in at the logic, video card, power supply, hard drive, the fans. All fans should be running or the computer will overheat in a few minutes. Batteries, BIOS. Your machine may not have the cables this neat. They may be all over the place. The machine power should be off. The computer slides into place. Secured with one thumb screw and a lock at the back corner if it's equipped. Required connections. Your USBs. One of these is the iDeck. A second one is the speakers. A third one is the lights. This cable's for the topper. If you follow the cable, it goes right up there. Standard VGA, this game requires it, and it also requires to come off the video card. So it uses a StarTech adapter to DVI port, plugs in directly into the video card. This VGA cable goes to the main monitor. It is unused in this theme. This cable is your primary monitor that does be, need to be hooked up for this game. Plugs into the main video card. This is the primary touchscreen cable. And as pointed out, this is going to go on the primary touchscreen cable slot. power cord, 120AC, goes into the power supply of the computer. And last, this iDeck cable is labeled. The iDeck cable is absolutely required and goes in the iDeck plug. This video is about installing a RAM clear. So here is a factory RAM clear, generally called version 3.60. At this point, the computer is ready to turn on. Now for boot up with the RAM clear in place.
that is the screen after boot up to the RAM player. Turn the reset key. You'll get a series of successes on good hardware. From there, turn the cabinet off. Remove the RAM player and back on. With the machine fully booted up after a RAM clear, the idea is to set it up. Press the setup button. All statuses in the top right of the screen must be addressed before the game is playable. Step one, set the clock. Step two, set the serial number. Asset number. Step three, set the credit. Base denom must be one penny. We do want multi denom. Some games do not allow this. No schedule. Actually, we don't want to save that. Devices must be set. Future Logic Printer, it is a Gen 3, Mars Bell Acceptor, yellow plastic. It automatically detects it, it's using an IDEC. The printer has a field. The game creation screen is empty. We need to create some games for this. The code can be hard to decipher, but this is 92%. Pay table ID is down here. So 91.94% and long pay table ID. We want that to be a penny. Create another game. Also 92%. Two cents. Create another game. 94%. Nichols. We'll stop at three games. Once I hit save all, these are locked in. We are done on this screen for now. We've created some new errors. Progressive setup is now required. But we're going to do the protocol setup. Protocol is going to be set for SAS primary or slot accounting system primary. 
hit save after setting SAS, configure validation, we're setting this for system. Device ownership. The minimum requirements are machine control and voucher out if you're using a printer. If it is a Tito machine, it would also get voucher in and legacy bonus. Progressive setup. We use a super progressive for a standalone setup. So I hit save, now we need to configure. We need to set up the controllers. There's only two here, we need one for each game, so we're going to add a controller. We have three controllers. And add one. We loaded the default configuration for 92% game one. Default configuration for 92% game two. Set this to internal. Save. And number three is a 94% gain. Those settings, the defaults, should be checkable. They didn't save the first time. The internal progressives are set. Now we have to link those to the games. One more save, exit, config. Game one gets controller one. And the level, handily, Stacks right alongside the jackpot number. So level one, jackpot one, jackpot two, level two. Straight down the list, and these are all on controller one. Save. Next game. All on controller two. One through eight, and all on controller two for the second game, which is listed out here. Two cents, 1 through 8, all on controller 3 for the third game. Save all. Setup is read only. Any changes must be RAM cleared to correct. The only status left is exit the menu. Just taping the door switch closed. I don't want to slam the door. I'm going right back in.